we have observed these things many times uh, we care about you know, tense, voice or some fragile verb and some you know extra things but we hardly realize like there is small small things in English that takes us towards the mistakes or we make a lot of mistakes and yes in my journey when I teach I have encountered many people they make mistake so uh, here today I'm just talking about a parts of a speech you know uh, parts of a speech knowing parts of a speech is one of the better idea or it gives us a good idea uh, good knowledge and to frame the good sentence so when I teach people so sometimes they are not able to understand we have to use singular or plural we have to use is or are we have to use have or has why because this possessive adjective you know create trouble or confusion so here let's say I'm just going to give an example like my car is fine here my is possessive adjective so what is adjective we have to understand about adjective first so adjective is a word that adds some information about noun right so that is called adjective so here this is adjective and this is noun and adjective comes just before a noun so here car is noun so i wrote my car is dirty just an example but what if I add s here so in that case also people think like when I'm adding my so here I have to use age no we don't need to follow my because this is possessive adjective only we don't need to have anything we don't need to follow that possess uh, possessive adjective to putting the singular or plural or to putting the auxiliary verb so here we don't have to go through my the subject is cars not my so when I write and when I wrote the word cars here I have to put this R right and when it is car then I have to write age so the subject the auxiliary verb we have to see we have to check we have to form as per the now not as per the possessive adjective right here again this word again confuse a lot when we say our it seems like oh my god it means it is plural so let's say i say our child so here we have to follow child not our so here i'll say i'll ch our child pledge right or making more simple again our child is playing right but what happened many people they think like we have to follow this so here our means it looks like plural so they put our like our child are right or our problem R. so here we have to see the noun and this is the noun not we have to follow this you know uh, possessive adjective right so the auxiliary verb or helping verb or singular plural whatever things you can say that happens according to noun not according to possessive, per no, uh, possessive adjective right so here if I write our children then I'll make R but when I have to write child here I have to write age not child R right your laptop is not working fine but the people think like when we say your so we have to make R so they write R for their speaks R 
see when you are writing at least you have some option you know some google translator and some you know software that corrects you like don't write r you have to write is but what when you have to speak while speaking no there is no such filter and there is no some auto correction that will take place so better not to take a lot of help by tools right we have to understand the logic so here your laptop is not working but because we have to follow laptop not your laptop is the noun that is subject so here if i put laptops then i have to put r right but when it is laptop then it is age and likewise have and has wherever we are putting age we have to put has right likewise his phone is not working right and when i say his phone then it will be r not working there sure went there's right and their phone is not working here it's fine but people generally follow this when they say there obviously by nature by attribute by pronunciation it seems like it is something a plural so they say their phone are they don't care about this they care about that so we have to care this part not that part so their phone is not are but their phones when i put s then obviously we have to make changes here right her dog is barking right so here we have to say her dog but when i say her dog so it means more than one dog yeah i have to put r so you uh, just realize where we make mistake we follow possessive adjective that we make mistake so here we don't have to think about this because these all are only and only modifying giving some information about the noun it doesn't mean that we have to make it subject no they never play role of subject they have to become only in their own attribute right so these all are only and only you know a uh, possessive adjective they are qualifying the nouns right not qualifying all those things so only they have role to qualify in the par in parts of a speech we have very you know uh, well a structure these all things so when we start reading it when we start doing de uh, deep dive so we start understanding what and how we have to use this so here we have to only use as we have to follow as per this now not as per this you know uh, adjective so i think uh, it makes sense right i repeat again like whenever we make sentence we don't need to follow this right no this is wrong so we have to follow this so uh, auxiliary verb singular plural will take place as per the noun not as per the possessive adjective so this is the role of possessive adjective even we have these and those they are also possessive adjective so we have to follow noun so first identify the subject first identify the noun you know only noun and pronouns have a have attributes to become subject or object so here we have to catch noun only when once we know about the noun we are very easily going to put auxiliary verb with whether it is is are am and uh, you know blah blah so on like has have 
that only follow the noun and noun is the real subject not this possessive adjective i think it makes a uh, clear because a lot of people uh, they are making a lot of mistake here because of only small understanding so once you get to know once you understand the logic behind it you get to know how does it work right so we have to follow now not we have to follow you know follow this possessive adjective i think uh, it may help you why i put it here because a lot of people uh, i captured i remarked i noticed that they make a lot of time mistake so they are not actually grasping grabbing the actual subject so this will definitely help you out right thanks bye